Hi, my name's Daddy, and I play Boom Beach sometimes. So, uh, well, I've been actually quite enjoying this. I've managed to upgrade quite a few of my landing craft to where you get the, uh, you know, changes appearance, which is pretty good. My headquarters is still level 16, but I've really been focusing on upgrading my troops and the landing craft, really to try and get myself, you know, uh, over this, well, the, the initial goal is 600 medals. They call them victory points. Yeah, i got to, because then you get your 1,000 uh, diamonds. I've got, uh, for those of you who don't know, the you can boost your masterpieces. So the masterpieces give you power up. So you can boost them. You can't do it, boost them with any other way than you see that little power powder at the bottom right hand corner that says 27. So that's the way you boost them. When you reclaim a masterpiece, uh, you get this fragments and stuff like that. And then uh, when you reclaim a masterpiece, you get the uh, power powder and that allows you to double the boost. So I figured, look, let's, uh, let's, let's do a single player and let's do a, a multiplayer as well. So the single players mostly give you one victory point and the multiplayer give you two. But earlier on at the start, they give you two for some of the single players, but that's very, very rare now. So uh, I figure let's just, uh, this is a hard one for my troops because I, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with uh, riflemen, medics and uh, Azuka. The um, rocket launchers are pretty dangerous. So, so what I figured is I'll just bring in the guys. I'm going to lose a couple to the uh, to, to the you know boom cannon there, but that doesn't really matter because they're mostly the you know the riflemen who are very very cheap to replace. And I can get nice and up close and around those uh, around those rocket launchers, and I can take them out. There we go. And that uh, that shock's pretty you know it's got a pretty wide angle. You know I could take out all four of them and zoom it into the corner so I can minimise the you know the risk but to be honest with you it doesn't really matter because there's only two things that could could uh, you know kill from that angle if you like uh, the the heel is there to help me uh, protect against the sniper tower there we go and that's that done one mode combo one mode one mode that combo there we go and I've only lost 17 right uh, 17 rifle men which is you know it's like a two minute river uh, rebuild uh, in fact yeah, two minutes two minutes two and a half minutes something like that okay so let's fast forward over to a uh, the multiplayer with the magic of TV there we go I'm not jamming at all uh, in fact I, haven't, I don't jam on any of my games but uh, in terms of the, the bases and troop uh, you know troop upgrades and stuff but I haven't I haven't ever bought gems on this thing it's all been some stuff that I've kind of just generated so um, of course I'm raiding bases that are bigger than mine so this one has got the shot cannon uh, I think you can see that next to the uh, cannon there, right in the middle. So the shot cannon is probably the most effective defense because it, it obviously it does what it says, right? So I need to take out these uh, rocket launchers. Luckily, it's got very weak rocket launchers. So I'm going to take those out with my barrage. And I think a couple of those that will go down fairly simply. There we go. Now, I don't have an awful lot of... Uh, yeah, let's take out those uh, boom mines because they're going to cause me problems in the future. Now I'm down to 10 energy from the uh, the boat. I've, my boat's upgraded as high as it possibly can do for my for my. I keep wanting to call it a town hall, but it's actually a uh, HQ. So I'm going to move these little chaps along the side so it minimise totally minimises the amount of defensive power that's going to be as they they travel. It's it's going to go up to the top where it says retreat, just the left where it says retreat. And I'm going to go in. And the advantage of using this attack strategy uh, when you're raiding against the shock tower is that it, it forms a line. And the, the shock tower throws a shock, right? But it, it's only a small area relatively in comparison with the size of the line. You'll see what I mean in a second. So we're taking out the outline buildings. And that's really handy for you know a little bit of extra energy. Now, I'm going to be spending all my time now shocking that shock cannon because um, what I want to do is make sure that line is as wide out as possible before it uh, takes out my um, the troops, you see. So you're ready. It's only taking. It's only about occupying about a third of the of the length. And as the as the line splits, remember the uh, the really powerful uh, attack from, from my side is the uh, are the Zookas. So they're nicely coming down towards the shock tower. But actual fact doesn't really matter now because the shock tower is out of range of where I want my um, want my troops to be so I'm going to change attack 
I'm going to move all the troops up to the corner there. Because I've been so successful in taking out those outlying buildings. I'll probably lose more trying to take out the shock tower. There we go. And uh, pop a couple of uh, heal down. And that's it, really. There we go. <laughs> taking out the little chaps. Now, you, you could do this if you if you you know if you don't obviously you might not have quite high as high troops uh, but the line of riflemen is quite brutal actually so if you don't have uh, medics yet just riflemen on their own perhaps would be a good idea I mean this swarm swarming line of riflemen is very attractive so let's have a look at the uh, let's have a look at where I stand at the moment so 6,600 worldwide uh, UK wide I'm not doing too badly I'm just about to break into the top 200 which is quite nice but really, my target's sitting at 600. These are my friends, by the way. These are these are some moderators on the, on the forum. So this is Landfill. Uh, La uh, Landfill's got a great channel. I'll put a link in the uh, comments. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.